Go to patreon.com slash tilted tripod media. Support this channel by becoming a member and unlock the future of video, product reviews, travel, and more on Tilted Tripod Media. Click that subscribe button and welcome to the future of video. And smash the bell icon to be notified about weekly videos. everyone if you can hear me over this loud obnoxious traffic that's right by me today's episode of urbex brings us to fairborn ohio in the dayton metro area and behind me is the skyborn theater a completely abandoned drive-in movie theater and we're going to check it out there's also an abandoned roller skating rink here called i believe it was skateland but um it says no trespassing on it so i don't think i'm going to go in there um just because i'm going to respect the signs and also uh don't really want to try and get arrested today. So, join me on today's adventure. Landmarks in Greene County about to get wiped out. The Skyborn Drive-In Theater and Skateland property just north of Wright Pat have been rezoned and a construction company wants to take over the property. New Center 7's James Bookley live outside the old Skyborn Theater with how two groups are looking to preserve some history. James, the Bath Township Board of Trustees voted unanimously to change the zoning of this area. Now, the Skyborne Theater was built in 1950, and a couple years later, Skateland opened up. Now, this will be a change coming up in the future, but the company is hoping to work with one group to possibly save parts of the landmark. And it's going to be sad to see him go. If you've driven by Haddock's Road in Bath Township, chances are you've seen what's left of Skateland and the Skyborne Theater. Boarded up windows, chains, locks, graffiti, and a large empty lot. It's been a place for families to go to watch a movie. Uh, it's been a place for kids to go to go skating. So they, they have been an important part of the recreational activities for this community. Dan Kirkpatrick is the former mayor of Fairborn and now vice president of the Fairborn Area Historical Society. He knows how important these landmarks are to people here. I remember going to the Skyborn Theater. And then when we came back in the mid-90s and came back again in 2005, my kids used to go to Skateland all the time. The Historical Society is working with Barrett Paving, the company looking to use the property as a quarry. Both sides will be exploring the area for any historical artifacts to save. Um, anything from some old foundations to uh, some items that uh, maybe indicated where certain parts of the old city of our uh, village of uh, Osborne was located. One of the biggest parts that's still standing is the Skyborne Theater sign. Bear Paving said they're also willing to possibly save the signage, but as to what's done with it... Not sure where we would put it or what we do with it, but uh, who knows, we might be able to find some uh, future use for it. The company and the Historical Society will start searching the area here in the next couple of weeks once the weather gets warmer. Reporting live in Bath Township, James Buckley, News Center 7. Wow, it still has the neon tubes in it. That would be amazing to see that lit up. Wow, this sign is huge and it still has everything intact. It's really not in too bad of a condition. And I have no clue when this place closed. I'll have to do some research on it. The year is 1958. You pull up behind a long line of cars waiting to purchase a ticket for the most anticipated movie of the year, Gigi. <sighs> Finally, you've made it through that long line of cars. As the excitement grows, you pull up next to another car and grab the little speaker to attach it to your window. Just then, the aroma of warm, buttery popcorn smacks you straight in the face as your kids begin to pester you for some snacks. You reluctantly hand them some money and tell them what you want and to hurry back because the show is about to begin. The drive-in was once one of America's most popular forms of entertainment. Now most of them are abandoned, left rotting, and waiting to be torn down. The Skyborn Drive-In, also known as the Skyborn Cruise-In, is located in Fairborn, Ohio, right across the street from the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, 
and opened around 1950. Many of the locals would refer to this place as the Skyborn Dive-In, and that's because during the 70s and 80s they showed a lot of X-rated films, but that would swiftly come to an end in 1989 when a police raid would confiscate three films that were considered way too obscene. Then a lawsuit was filed against the theater in which it was settled when Cherokee theaters decided to stop playing these kind of films. And after learning this bit of history, I guess the tall walls around the movie screen now make sense. This would have been your first view as you stepped inside the concessions for some warm buttery popcorn and an ice cold Coca-Cola. There isn't a lot of information on this place, but from what I did gather, it only ever had one screen and these concession stands. And by looking at these concession stands, I'd have to say this place is probably all original. It looks like it dates back from the 50s, 60s, or 70s. This is, you guys, this is the projection room. Film reels would have went, wow! projector oh man for someone like me that's a film um oh my gosh for someone like me that's into making films and youtube videos this is so cool wow The theater would close at the end of the 2015 season, never to reopen again. This is Skateland, a roller skating rink that's located next to the Skyborne Theater that opened in 1956. I found virtually no information on this place, but it did close at the end of the 2015 season along with the theater. There were a lot of no trespassing signs on this place, and it was boarded up tight, so unfortunately I was not able to get inside to film the interior.
heading on over to patreon.com slash tilted tripod media is a great thing and you should go and do it right now because that will support the future of video and secure the future of this channel and all of my other channels by making any kind of a donation it goes a long way to help in all the expenses of creating these videos gas lodging food etc just the time it takes to edit the videos in itself and then you got to come back to my channel to hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon that way you'll be up to date on all the latest videos here on my channel and all the other channels on tilted tripod media and i want to say thank you for joining me here and i'll see you in the next video hopefully